Hey guys! You alright? Let me know if you can see me and hear me alright? We'll give it a wee minute for guys to log on. Hey Sarah! Okay, is that lighting okay? Yeah, let's see what we're doing. Hey Charlotte. Hey Katie. Hi Emma. So what we'll do while we're just waiting for people to join, we'll have a little look at the stickers. So today we're gonna to be having some festive fun using the new stickers, which are absolutely stunning. I absolutely love these. So we've got three different packs available. And um, we've got them in gold, silver, and white. So these are our gold ones. These are stickers 02. We have also got these guys. These are stickers 01. And then we have also got stickers 03. So these are the white ones. So loads of different colours to choose from. Hey Nicola, hey Rachel. Can you guys see in here? All right. Is this okay? Is this lighting all good? So yeah, these are the different ones that you can get. So we're just going to have a wee play around with these tonight. The first design I'm going to show you is this guy. It looks like it should be on like a festive carol hymn sheet. So what I'm going to use for the base of this is Fresh as a Daisy, which is a lovely milkyish white. You've no missed anything, Lisa. We're just getting started. So get comfortable. So Fresh as a Daisy as your background. And then we're going to be using Sherry Trifle as well. And then we are going to be using Teresa Green. Claire, do you just put stickers on top of the last coat of colour than the top coat? The key with your stickers, Claire, is you need to remove your tacky layer. Um, so whether you're doing that on colour, top coat, uh, give me strength, whatever, you can apply onto anything, but you're going to want to remove your, your top coat. So let me grab a wee nail tip for you guys. Some of the other Mad Pie educators are hopefully on, so they will be able to answer any questions you guys have. So please feel free to ask away. Oh, this tabletop isn't as steady as I thought it would be. So, fresh as the daisy, you've got to do two colour coats of this to begin with. Really nice colour to have for Christmas time. You can do loads of fun nail art with this. Oh, Nicola, you're requesting to be in my video with me. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? You want to double up? Okay, so first layer of my white is on. If you guys are joining in, you guys can use any colour you want for this design. I'm just going to move this back chopping board before I flip this all on top of me. Whoa. I'll bring you on if you want, Nicola. <laughs> so I'm just going to get one of the magpie little pads. These are super handy if you guys are mixing colours and stuff because they've got, you know, a slippy bit on the back you can use if you're messy like me. Is fresh as a daisy, less white than plain Jane. Heidi, I will show you right now. It is, it's a milky white, so it's not a massive difference. Well, that's one coat. Let me put on another coat. Um, and I'll show you. It's that, okay? So that's plain, that's plain Jane on the right. 
and that is oops not oops a daisy fresh as a daisy on the left so you see how it's just a little bit more milky rather than bright i like going for this this um shade on my clients because they tend to get white dirty you know if they're fake tanning or cooking and things like that see if they use a really bright white like plain jane obviously it's lovely to have a bright white but it gets so messy you know foundation and things so that's why i tend to go for um the milky white because i find it doesn't stain as much but yeah not not massive difference so we're gonna do a little like watercolor background for these little hollies so I'm going to get a little bit of Shower Trifle and a little bit of Teresa Green. And I'm just going to mix that with Gimme Strength. How stunning is the new Sherry Trifle, by the way? Mmm, so nice. That's one of the, the new colours. Okay, and I'll pop a little bit of Teresa Green there. And where is my Gimme Strength? I'm gonna pop just a tiny bit to the side there and to the side here. We're gonna water these down. You guys can mix all of the Mad Pie gels together if you wanna make lighter ones or darker ones and you can also mix them together if you wanna create like watercolor ones. So I'm just grabbing my dotting tool there. And um, we're gonna give this a little mix around. Are there any online courses coming up? Yes, Claire, there's always online courses um, at the moment. If you search in the Magpie group, if you use the search bar at the top of the page and search online course, you should see all the educators' posts or, you know, you can just pop up a post on the page and ask if anyone's doing online courses. Um, I know June, Danielle, Nicolette, I think they've all got online courses running at the moment. And most of the educators are doing Christmas workshops as well. So again, maybe if any of the educators are watching, they can comment if they've got any space on any courses. But yeah, use the search bar at the top of the, the group and you will find everyone's availability and stuff. So what we're gonna do is get my holly on. Oh, and Ona's saying she can't hear. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, cool, thank you. Can you see her? Okay, cool, thanks June. Right, so what we are going for is these little hollies at the bottom and the top. So first thing, before you apply your stickers, you need to wipe this base because if we don't wipe it, our stickers are gonna slip all over the shop and we can get lumps and bumps. So I'm gonna go in with my Prep and Dehydrate. Reason that I'm using this rather than cleanser is because cleanser's got oils in it and we don't wanna get any oils on our nails. So I'm just going to give that a good wipe and get our stickers ready. So we tweezers, what we're going to need, these are my pie tweezers. And I love these so much because they are a tip rather than like a flat surface. The key to getting these stickers off, so we're going to grab one of these hollies, is to wrap the sticker over your pointer finger. So I'm going to get to the edge of this holly wrap it on my pointer finger and I'm going to press my nail just there and you'll see that sticker's just starting to give. Then what I'm going to do is place that tweezer right underneath and you see with just that tiny touch that got that off. These are so thin and so delicate that you need to be so careful when you're, you're taking these off the sheet because what can happen is you can flip them underneath each other if you bash it too hard. So just curl it around your finger and then you'll be able to, to get it on. So what I'm going to do to begin with is just visualise where this is going to go. So I want this to sit here 
and I obviously want my color to go underneath that. So I'm just gonna let that guy sit there in the direction that I want it to go. I'm gonna have that one sitting there so I can copy it. And I'm just gonna go on with my dotting tool and copy that shape. So if I hold that there, I can see that I've got one berry on top and two berries on the bottom. So grab my dotting tool. I'm just gonna go around in small circular motions just so that we've covered that entire tool. And I'm going to begin with my first dot, just placing that down and rolling in a wee circle. Now, this doesn't need to be perfect at all. I want this to look a little bit, you know, messy, watercolory. So don't worry about getting it absolutely perfect. We just want to get that background color on. So I'll pop that on. Now I'm going to hold my, my sticker over the top. And check that that's going to cover, yeah? So we can see that that's going to cover underneath. Then what I'm going to do, spin this stick around and I'm going to pop, well, I'm not going to pop it to begin with. I'm going to imagine that that's sitting there, okay? So I'm going to let that sit there. Oh, and just like that, it's gone. Gotcha. Okay, let him sit there. Use this guy and I'm going to do the exact same on the top. So I'm going to have one berry going up here, round in little circular motions. And then I'm going to go on the other side. I don't want to go too far on the edge of the nail because if you get these stickers on the edge of the nail, they can catch if you don't, you know, like cut them properly. So if you are putting them on the edge of the nail, just be careful that you are you know, filing them off or cutting them off. Okay, cool. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna pop them in just to flash cure, just for 10 seconds. So what we mean by flash cure is just freezing that design so that nothing's gonna bleed anywhere. We just wanna secure that in position. And then I'm gonna pop my leaves on. So I'm gonna use my detailer brush for this. Absolutely amazing brush. And we're going to do some rough holly. Again, don't stress out about this not being perfect because it's watercolour, so anything goes. So I'm not going to use the detailer brush like I normally would. If I was painting lines, I'd be dragging it through like that. But because I am wanting to do little like leaves, I'm going to get a ball of product on the edge and I'm going to place it down at the tip where I want it to begin. And then I'm just gonna gently tease that product out. Okay, just so I've got a rough shape. Nicolette is gonna show you how to do proper um, festive florals on her live. So you guys can tune into that if you wanna see. Okay, so I'm gonna pop a little bit on this guy, taking my hand, back, placing that bead down, and then I'm just pulling up. Yeah, just like so. Now my sticker has gone flying again. Grab it. Okay, so imagining that that is sitting there and that we're going on top. Cool, I'm happy with that. So let's pop on our top one. If I hover that over the top, we're going to go into each bend again, loading up a ball, pressing that brush down and gently pulling out one, two, three. So I've got a little look of holly. And we're going to go same in each direction. Okay. Nice and gentle, nice and rough. This is one of them designs that you can do dead quick in the salon. Um, you know, you can just chuck this on. It doesn't need to be particularly neat because our stickers are gonna cover up any damage we've done. Okay, happy with those. I'm gonna pop that in for a full cure now, okay? So whenever you're flash curing something, it's really important that you then go in and do a full cure. So while that's curing, we'll have a wee look at the comments. Has anyone got any questions? 
Adelina, sorry I'm late. Oh, that's all right. These are all saved. Um, all the lives are going to be saved in the group so you guys can catch up fine. Don't worry about that. Hey, Nicola. Hopefully the girls watching will be able to, to give you a hand if you do have any, any questions. So I'm finished with this. What's on the palette? On the palette is Sherry Trifle and Teresa Green, which are some of my most popular colours for Christmas. Hi, I'm Marie. Hi, Samantha. Good spot, Samantha. It does not have two leaves. We're going to customise the sticker. I'm going to cut it out um, so that we can get two. Where am I from? Take a guess, Claire, because my accent seems to... To give people the impressions of very different places. The best one I've had is Swedish. I really don't think I'm Swedish. <laughs> Sarah's giving it away. I'm a Scot. But yeah, I don't think I do sound Scottish, to be honest. So for our first one, I've wiped that with Prep and Dehydrate. Okay, just to get rid of that tacky layer. Um, just because we don't want it slipping about and we don't want it, you know, we don't want any of that residue underneath making it ripply. So to stick these guys on, you want to take your time, lower it gently, and I'm just going to place it just to begin with, okay? It's not fully secure. I've just placed that there. So if I want to move that around, I can. So I'm just going to go like that. Then we're going to grab our silicone tool. And I'm going to pop that down in the middle, okay? I'm going to flatten that in the centre and I'm going to work out. And I'm going to squeeze that sticker down to get rid of any air bubbles at all. Squeeze in each direction, working my way out, okay? So then we're going to get a dead, dead flat application. See how thin they are? So, you know, your client's not going to be sticking at anything than um, picking at anything. <laughs> yeah, I know, Swedish. I know. I know. Yeah, I do. I get English a lot as well. It's because I'm trying to pronunciate my words. So, for this next guy, rolling that over again and pressing my... Um, nail down so that it pulls up slightly and I'm going from underneath pulling it up and we're gonna customize 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 this guy so I'm gonna grab my scissors and I am going to cut just like that okay and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of sticker surgery okay same again I'm gonna measure it up and I'm just going to place it, okay? So don't panic. You can move that around. But once it's stuck on, it's stuck. Um, if you don't have a silicone tool, Nicola, like your dotting tool, you can use your dotting tool like this. So just start in the centre, pressing it down and pushing it out. Or you could use the back end of your tweezers rather than the front end of your tweezers. Place it down just like that. Or just use your fingers, but just be careful that you're going from the centre to, to the outside, okay? Right, our hollies are stuck on. What we are going to grab next is our little Merry Christmas sign, which, to be honest, I think this is one of my favourite, favourite of the stickers. But, again, super delicate, so we've got to be dead careful with this one. So... Rolling it round, popping my finger there, underneath, and you're gonna watch that you don't break these guys. So I'm just gonna gently pull it up and across, okay? I am gonna pop her just about there. Place it down to begin with, move it around if you need it, on the center and out the sides. The stickers are from magpiebeauty.co.uk. The stickers that I'm using right now, this is Festive Stickers number one. You can get it on the website. Maybe one of the girls will put a, 
a link in the comments for you. Yeah, you can buy these if, if you're a home user, I'm pretty sure. Um, but we've got three different ones. Um, well, we've got three festive ones. We've got 40 normal ones, which I definitely recommend. I love the stickers. So what we'll use next is one of these little Christmas accent ones. Where is it gone? I've lost it. This one. And I'm just going to pop this on the side. Okay. Just like that. Just going to add a little bit of detailing, okay? So, you know, we're joining these stickers together. You can totally create pictures with these guys. This is what I love about the stickers. They just give you inspiration, you know? Pick out a, a pack and just go for it and see what you come up with. So the last thing we're going to get on this is our little star. Again, wrapping that guy round. Thumb underneath, giving it a wee nudge. And we're going to hang this off the Merry Christmas. Now, this is the hardest part of this design, the most fiddliest part. Okay, so for this guy, I'm going to place the base down, put my thumb over the top, and then again, I'm going to move it till I'm happy, okay? So it looks like we got just a little wee dangly bit going on. It is like a Christmas card, isn't it? I used to make Christmas cards when I was younger. I was obviously obsessed with it. I had all those little inky stamp kits. I think we'll put a little star on it as well, just, just cause. Okay. Again, these little guys are the hardest ones that you'll get off, so you gotta be so careful with these. Oh, just like that. Keep your eye on them. Okay. Pop him just up there, thumb on, and silicone tool over the top, okay? Beautiful. See how dead thin they are, okay? Your clients ain't gonna be picking at anything at all. So what we're gonna do next is grab our gimme strength. We are gonna secure this guy in. So I'm just gonna go a wee press over with my finger. And we'll pop this into cure, okay? Keep your gimme strength thin, especially when you're working over white. See if you ever do a white design and you put it in the lamp and then it comes out and it's yellow. What that means is you've um, applied it too thick. So I'm just going to use my light check that I've got no lumps or bumps. If you had any lumps, you could just hold that upside down 10 seconds and you know let that self level out and then you're gonna have a really nice smooth design so let's pop that in for 60 seconds to cure and then we'll top coat it let's see if we've got any any questions from you guys hi Sinead okay tweezers and silicone tool 100% must haves in your kit Definitely. Oh, welcome to Magpie Claire. It's a pesky addiction, isn't it? Magpie's Anonymous. Oh, exciting, Charlotte. You'll love them. Thank you, Sarah. Are the stickers easier to remove from the white car backing than the clear? Um, I'd say it's pretty much all the same. I'll show you using the, the white stickers as well, um, Andrea, so you can see it. But the key is wrapping your, your finger around it. So what you might be struggling is with is because the clear background is slightly um, thinner, you might be struggling to get it off there, but all you need to do is just wrap it round and tease it off. The thinness or the thickness of the paper shouldn't really have a, a massive difference, but yeah, I'll show you using it anyway. So we've got our gimme strength on, we've got our stickers on. We are now gonna top coat, okay? So where is my top coat? I'm going to use Don't Be Tacky because it is my favourite, favourite top coat. 
and we're going to apply this over the top so if you wanted you could buff this you know if you, if you weren't happy with how the stickers were laying if they weren't laying nice and flat you could go ahead and, and buff and then top coat but i'm quite happy with them okay What light am I using? Everyone's loving the light, aren't they? This is, um, what bulb is this? This is like a, a, a daylight bulb, I think. I'm using one of the just like dome lamps from Amazon, but it's it's all in the bulb. This is a, a daylight one. I'll see if I can comment on it um, in the comments after I've done this. I'm sure it's just from, from Amazon. But, do you know, it's probably to do with the background. If you've got a white background, then it helps. I'm loving the full-on tips. Oh, Claire, they're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, I've had clients coming back with, like, six to eight weeks wear. It's absolutely mental. But, oh, God, I love the full-on tips. If you've not tried them, 100% get on it. Because they are. They're just amazing. So that's that guy. Nice and cured. Design number one sorted. So that's it in um, Fresh as a Daisy and the Gold, or you can try it with the Plain Jane and the Silver Stickers. Totally up to you guys. Next, I think we will do a wee Christmas bobble, shall we? So we're going to use, um, are we going to use Share Trifle? We're going to use a white background again. We'll use Fresh as a Daisy for this one. And we'll do a little bobble. I better check that I've actually got a bobble. Yeah, I do. Wait, are my tips? Okay. So. Get our Fresh as a Daisy on the back. And this design is going to kind of be like the other one in that we're going to put a little bit of colour into the stickers. Okay. So fresh as a daisy there. We're going to do two coats of that. And then we are going to get some of the new flakes involved. What colour flakes should we use? We got any, got any requests? The stickers I'm going to use now, Charlotte, are stickers number two. These guys, stickers number two. I'm going to use this Christmas bobble here. And I'm also going to use a little bit of these guys. These are stickers 002 as well. I'm just going to do a little chain. A wee Christmas bobble. And I'm also going to use some flakes. Will I do some like Christmas colours? Will we do like red and green? We do these guys. Maybe red and gold. Yeah, I think we'll do red and gold. If I can find my gold. Okay. So second layer of Fresh as a Daisy. And then we're going to put our flakes on. I absolutely love these new metallic flakes. And to be honest, I don't think the flakes get enough credit where they're used. I've got Steve, Samantha. Steve is here. I've got a Billy too. I've got Jude as well. Let the festivities commence. <laughs> so, when I'm using my... Um, Flakes, what you want to do is tip them into the lid. Okay. These are going to go everywhere, so don't breathe. Where do you buy the tip that I'm painting on? Magpie Beauty Girl. Um, again, they're on the Magpie website under the accessories page. And I love these tips. I love the shapes of them. Um, I love the thickness of them. You get them in square as well. But yeah, maybe someone can give a little link to them in the... The comments, oh, Shannis. Okay, so look at these guys. They're absolutely stunning. So we've got Stevie, Jude, and Billy. 
pop these guys here. Now what I'm gonna do is grab the stunning new brush. Look at that. This is the new detailer brush from Magpie. And we've got, oh, we've got the new applicator brush as well. Same brushes, but glitter lids, which we all need in our lives. So this is brilliant for doing fine detail work. So what I'm gonna do is go into my red flakes and I'm just gonna do little sections like that. And I'm gonna wipe off on just a clean kitchen towel, okay? Don't get any, um, oh, don't get any liquids on your brushes. Oh, see that, I breathed. I'm gonna be quiet so that it doesn't spill everywhere. Wipe it off. In with my gold. Just so that we've got a wee outline. Look at that, they're going everywhere. Getting that little brush off in between. Adding some more. Looks like a wee wreath on the outside, doesn't it? Okay, absolutely perfect for Christmas. Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna pat them down, put them to the side before I spill anything else. And I'm just gonna put my stickers on next. So we'll get a wee chain. Oh, well, I've got silver ones. I'm sure I've got silver ones in these somewhere. Sure I do, ha ha. Here we go. We'll do it in silver, will we? So these are brilliant. If you guys hate drawing lines, these are what you want. Jenny done a lovely wee um, Christmas present with these. So check Jenny's live out as well. She did um, a little Rudolph as well. Super cute. So again, nice and gentle with this, peeling it up. Okay. Dead thin, perfect for bobbles. So I'm gonna work back to front. I'm gonna pop that about there. Oh, oh Ruth, behave. There's a tacky layer there. So ignore that, guys. We're gonna put gimme strength off, then we're gonna wipe it so that my stickers don't slip. So in with my layer of gimme strength, I just wanna secure those flakes, push them out if they're misbehaving. Push them out of the center. Okay, like so. Pop that into cure for 60 seconds. Okay, give that a little wipe off. No, I didn't, Sarah Jane, and that was my mistake. Oh no, you mean before applying them? No, so your flakes are gonna stick to your tacky layer. So you wanna leave your tacky layer for your flakes to stick to, but for your stickers, you don't want a tacky layer. So that's why I'm, I'm capping and give me strength because I'm now gonna remove that tacky layer. But yeah, if you're using flakes, glitters, dusts, you want that to stick to that tacky layer. If you, you know, make a mistake and you remove that tacky layer, all that you would need to do is mix it with Gimme Strength, give it a wee mix with Gimme Strength and you'll be fine. Yeah, good idea, Heidi. Always have a second bottle of Gimme Strength for your glitter because it will get everywhere. You can be as careful as you want, but yeah, it will get everywhere. So once that's cured, again, I'm gonna go with my, with my Prep and Dehydrate to remove the tacky layer. Not my cleanser because it's got oils in it. And... This is what we're going to use to remove that, that tacky layer, okay? So over the top and your flakes are going to be fine because you've popped that layer of um, Gimme Strength on. So let's pop this nail on its back and we're just going to pop that down there. Check from the other side that we're central. Okay, and then I'm going to cut the back of that and... 
grab a wee bobble if I can find one. Yes, yeah, so these are the stickers number three. Okay, we're gonna grab this little bobble guy. Christmas bobbles are so difficult to draw. So having these is gonna be an absolute game changer. So I'm just tapping that underneath, pulling it up. And we are gonna hang that on the middle, okay? So aim for the center, popping that down and rolling to the side. Again, if you wanna adjust that, by all means, go for it. Silicone tool on the center and squeezing that down, okay. Now, what we're going to do next is have a little bit of inky on top of this. So what I'm going to do is get my velvet top coat, this guy here, and I'm going to apply a layer of velvet top because I want to colour in my bauble. So I'm going to give a good helping on top there. And this is going to turn... Okay, my design mat, and this is going to be great for using with the inkies. So let's put these flakes back. Absolutely love them. Jude, Billy, and Stevie. Hard to pick a favourite. We all had to pick one of these for the Christmas workshops, and it was, it was difficult, I'll tell you that. Ashley is a good one to have as well. That's our, our silver one. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Oh, I'll pop that there. Right. Let's fill in our bobble. Will we do it with the red? I can't decide. Do it with the purple one. How are we doing for time, guys? How long have I been chatting for? I don't, um, I don't know. I know it was late um, when I started. Everyone will be ready for the bed. Okay, look at that. I love the matte top coat. How beautiful is that? Just, do you know all the flakes on the magpie um, velvet top? It just makes it so Christmassy and frosty. 38 minutes, cool, thank you guys. We're doing all right for time then. So what we'll do next is, maybe we'll do a blue one since we're not getting any blue on there. Is that gonna stick out like a sore thumb? Do the purple? No, we'll do the red. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so grab this little guy. And I'm not gonna use this inky like I usually would. So usually we put the inkies on and we want it to disperse and go like a kind of marble. But for this, I'm gonna use it to color in. So I am literally gonna get a tiny, tiny bit of this. And I'm just gonna pop it. I'm gonna wipe the edges off. And I'm just gonna pop it. Round my wee bobble. Ta-da! Okay, so that's another way. You can fill the stickers in if you go on top of the stickers. So, first guy underneath the stickers, second guy on top of the stickers. If you um, see how I've just been messy there, what you can do is grab a little bit of prep, get your silicone tool wet with it, and you can just clean that up. Okay. Just like that. Samantha, you don't have the inkies. Inkies are an absolute must. Okay, now I, I'm enjoying this mat. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make the, the bobble shiny rather than make the... The whole design shiny so what we're going to do is get don't be tacky so this background's already been top coated we've always already got velvet top coat but if i just get a little bit of don't be tacky and pop that there 
what we can do is just go around that inky with our dotting tool and this is going to make our bobble be nice and shiny. It looks like a wee glass bobble, don't it? Just like that. Then I'm going to grab my detailer brush and I'm going to wipe that through, keeping that brush nice and low and that's what's going to give me that nice thin line and I'm just going to go up that line and I'm just going to go side, okay? So see how that just makes it pop a little bit more. And then I'm going to pop that into cure for 60 seconds. Okay, we've still got time for one more design, do we? Should I do the snowflakes? Do you want to see some inky snowflakes? This next design is actually stolen from the lovely Sarah. So thank you, Sarah, for this. We are going to do a black, a black background with this. And we are going to paint some inkies on top. So grab a black bay, if you've got it. Sorry, grotty blue tack. There's nothing worse than seeing grotty blue tack in there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, black bay. Two coats of black bay for this next one. Who owns magpie? Sarah Shakespeare. This has been a common question today. It is Sarah. Okay, so we're going to do two layers of Black Betty for this one. This is quite a funky, funky festive design. Okay. First coat on. Pop that one in. Look at that. Cool. You can do so many things with these guys. So many different things with these these stickers. I know, ain't she Jess? We're so spoiled with all the products that she brings out for us. I don't know how she manages it because, oh, there's just so much stuff that's coming out all the time. I don't think she ever stops. Um, but yeah, we're so lucky to have so much to choose from. So, so much to choose from. So I'm going to do two layers and then what we're going to do is use the white snowflakes so you guys that were struggling with the the designs on the thinner paper hopefully this will help you guys out what a tip my my desk is in it's so funny when you're playing how messy things get in it so second coat of black betty i love black betty because it is so pigmented after two coats. Look at that. Okay. You gotta be careful with these tips. I'm gonna cure this holding my hand in. Will she be bringing out color changing gels in the future? I am not sure about that, Samantha. Um, we can certainly ask her. She's very good at taking on, you know, um, suggestions from you guys. So definitely we can pass that on to her. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've never tried the, the colour changing gels. Oh, yeah. Sophie's got you. Yeah, it's like the, the cat size stuff, isn't it? Nasties in your nails. You don't want that. So letting that cure 60 seconds and then we are going to pop our snowflakes on. If you've lost your certificates, Claire, you should be able to get in touch with your insurance and they should have copies for you. So we've got our colour cured. We're going to go over the top and remove that tacky layer and put our snowflakes on okay so it's exactly the same as last time you're gonna bend your your finger sorry bend the wrap so that it's around your finger and put your thumb just before where you're gonna go 
Oh, got a little crease. And just like that. Flick it up. Yeah. I love these snowflakes. So we'll pop one there. Smooth that out. And then we'll pop the other ones on. You've got loads of different kinds of snowflakes on these ones. I'll maybe pop another another one of these guys here. Underneath, pull that up, place it down, and to the center and out. Okay, then we'll put some wee baby ones. Any news on Perfect Polly? It is coming. Um, our senior educators, Jude and Sophie, are working super hard on it, but. You know, the educators all work as full-time nail techs too. So these things take time. Um, we like giving you guys the best courses possible. So yeah, I think I think we're in the final steps, but hopefully, hopefully not too long, but they're definitely, definitely gonna be worth the wait. Okay, let's put one more little guy on. On the edge there. Okay. Do you ever, when you're doing like abstract designs, you're trying to do something abstract and it just goes symmetrical ish? <laughs> so annoying, ain't it? Okay, so get that a little bit more abstract than I done. Snowflakes on. Let us put a little bit of our mat on because we are going to put inkies over the top of these so where is my velvet top i'm going to make this velvet so that we can inky over the top these are going to be great for salon yeah definitely sarah i am all about simple salon designs stress-free um especially at christmas so velvet on pop that in that's why i love the the stickers so much because they're so so quick and easy so get these inkies on and then that'll be as i i feel like this is going on for a long time past everyone's bedtime some of these stickers back while we're waiting these are some other designs i did using the stickers since we're waiting for that to cure we've got this little stag head i've got a little icicle ones also from christmas workshops we've got these guys that was a wee halloween one these are some from random workshops. So the stickers, they're so versatile. You can incorporate these into any design that you want. You know, you can have half and half designs. You can have full designs, whatever you want. Okay, so that is as nice and matte. We are ready to apply some inkies. So I'm going to do the, the purple, the pink and the blue. And I'm going to do these in diagonal directions so that we've got like a little snowstorm going on. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue up there. And again, we're not using this like we usually would use the inkies. Usually we want the inkies to, you know, disperse and, and marble. But what I want to do is just blend these in and we're just going to layer this up okay so i'm going to do a few coats of this then we're going to add some glitter it's just another fun way to use these 
stickers. They don't just to me need to be, you know, stuck on the nail and left. Oh, there'll be skewiff there. You can really add loads of fun stuff to them. So I'm going in over my matte top coat. Making sure I've got a good amount, but that matte is just going to sink it in. Okay. So I'm happy with those. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. And then we're going to put a layer of gummy strength on. And we're going to put a little bit of glitter in. We use one of the new ones. Yeah, we'll do a little mix around, will we? So this is Alba. She is beautiful. Really nice. Um, and we'll use Love as well, okay? Oh yeah, you 100% need the, the white ones and the inkies and the flakes. <laughs> Sorry. They're just staples, do you know what I mean? You can do so many different designs with them. It's not like you've got one color and then that's it. You can do one design with them. The possibilities are just, you know, outrageous that you can do with these products. So they are, they are really worth investing in. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in wet. Yeah, we maybe will, just in case I wanna move it around. I'm gonna pop this glitter into the wet layer of gummy strength just so that I've got the freedom to move it around a bit easier. You don't need to put it into the wet. You know, I could cure this and then go in, but by putting it on the, the wet gummy strength, I'm gonna be able to move it. So I'm gonna begin with this chunky bits of love. Now you can see that's a white glitter there, but see if you put white over a black glitter or like a hot pink or something. It will just really bring those undertone colors out. So I've got Alba, which is my fine glitter. And I've got Love, which is my slightly larger glitter. So can you see how I've put that on? But it's like, do you know what? It's gone in little bits of chunks. So not the most delicate. So what I'm gonna do, cause that gimme strength is wet. I'm just gonna move that glitter around and place it where I want to. And I've got the freedom to do that because we've not cured it yet. Okay. So let's pop that into cure for 60 seconds. And then we'll top coat it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it matte or normal. We'll see. I know it's stunning, isn't it? That's Sarah's design. Thank you, Sarah. Super pretty. So I hope you've enjoyed them. Look at the neck. Always wear gloves when you're using flakes. Yeah, the Snow Angels is absolutely amazing. They're brilliant for um, sugaring because they're so fine. They're lovely. Magpie Surprise Box says, oh, just, just add it to Sarah's list, Stacy. Sure she's got loads of time. <laughs> I know. The problem with the subscription boxes is how would you how would you know that people aren't getting the same thing? You know? How how do you make sure that people aren't getting duplicates? But I mean hey. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Nothing wrong with extras. Okay, am I gonna put another we're gonna make it matte. I am gonna make it matte. Okay, make that map. Have you got any questions, guys, before I go? I'm sure the girls are taking care of you in the in the comments, but I'll um I will go through them and check if there's anything, but I'm sure you've been taken care of fine. But yeah, definitely get your hands on the stickers. I've got loads of them, loads of them to stock up. Oh, thanks girls. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Next up, we have got Sinead, I think. I think Sinead is treating us to some Nutcracker nails. So keep your eyes peeled for Sinead's 
live. I think we're doing it every two days. But if you check the the group, if you use the search bar at the top of the group, then you'll be able to see um, the live list. Or if you go into Magpie's page, magpiebeauty.com, um, not magpiebeauty.co.uk, the Instagram, their Instagram, you will see the, um, the live, the live list. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, do comment them, pop them down below. And um, we'll hopefully see you soon, okay? Bye-bye.